right. Do we have Christmas presents? No, but we have taglines. All right. Let's hear them. All right. Ready? Ready? Okay. All two. <laughs> all That's two. All, I read. That's all, all two I read. taglines. Okay. The nightmare is about to begin again. So it's Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Yeah, it's about as bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and our second one, prayers won't save you in the silent part of this night. That was clunky. <laughs> At best. I know. I've never watched this before, so I think it's going to be scary. Okay. <laughs> Well, we'll we'll get to that in one second because it is it is absolutely uh, ridiculously scary in terms of being a bad movie. So, <laughs> with that, here are the totals with ten flashbacks. No, eleven. Sorry, eleven flashbacks. Two flashbacks within a flashback. Twenty-one times the word naughty is spoken. Five actors playing the same character. Two breasts. One ass. One death by jeep. One death by umbrella. Two deaths off screen, one car battery electrocution, one strangulation by car antenna, one strangulation by reel to reel, four gunshot deaths, one car explosion death, and one axe decapitation with a budget of $100,000 and a gross of $154,323, an IMDb score of 3.5, and a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes coming in with 5 Scores making it rotten. It's 1987's Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. Let's drop some bombs. Okay. Seventy three, eighteen, fourteen, eleven. I'm gonna form a nine, eleven, seven, three. See if I can't do a six, one, four, nine, two, eight. I'm over. The sucker was carrying a gizmo. I did you a favor, trash. Call me evil. Carpet day. Huh? No. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to Bonds Away. My name is Jonathan Young. Joining me in this studio, as always, is I'm Jared Seifert, and. Merry Christmas. I don't got anything good on this one. I was caught off guard. <laughs> Just be silent about it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, today we are joined by two very special guests. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Uh, take it away, Andy. Hi, um, I'm Andrew Roberts, and um, I've, uh, you know, what to say. Silent Night, Deadly Night 2 has been a uh, part of my life <clears throat> and the part of my uh, Christmas tradition since um, probably about 1994. 1995, wow. I think. Okay. So it's, it's been an annual thing. This is you know, why we brought Roberts you here household. today. <laughs> yeah. Th thanks for having me. And you're welcome. And, sir? Hi, I am Paxton. And, um, I don't know what this movie's about. <laughs> so trust me, we don't either, Paxton. It's fine. <laughs> <That's why. laughs> okay. That's why we're here. It's okay. really just as well. You know, I figured since, you know, given that the theme of the film is, you know, uh, traumatized children, I thought maybe I'd traumatize my own kid and have him on the have him on the show. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we're only going to be describing it to him. So, Paxton, this is like your, I don't know, Twas the Night Before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's a, Twas the Night Through Christmas. So we're we're going to have some real theater of the mind Just going like, on, you know. <laughs> right. So we're going to try to paint you a picture. A Paxton picture. A Paxton picture. Okay. <laughs> of this movie. Okay? That's what we try to do here every single episode. So, Andrew, once again, you, you say that this film is a tradition in your house. How did this come to be? Uh, well, I, I grew up in Southern California. Here, mm -hmm. like, uh, not here, um, but, you know, like... Uh, North Northwestern Orange County, okay. uh, and in my hometown there was a video store, a little independent job, and you could get videos for about like a dollar, dollar fifty, whatever mm -hmm. it was back then. Uh, so we were looking for, uh, you know, Christmas themed horror movies one year, and there was uh, the original Silent Night, Deadly Night, which if you've ever seen it, is actually kind of a nasty piece of work. Yes, yeah. it's, it's pretty good. Um, you know, it's. Uh, you know, very, very grindhousey, very, you know, um, you know, obviously super low budget. 
if you haven't seen it, you're about to see it again with this film. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you see all the highlights, really. It's, um, yeah. It's so, a highlight reel. So we rented it. And <laughs> if we by the it. highlight reel, the whole film. <laughs> yeah. The main parts of the film. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm curious about that budget, actually, because I want to know how much of it actually went to purchasing the first movie so they could <laughs> That's a good you know question. What I'm like that was probably about half of what they I didn't spent think I think. Of that. right <laughs> well okay because um uh and pardon me sometimes we tend to jump around here yeah, so like um uh, there the the movie is all fl- you know like basically almost all flashbacks you did the math jared like what oh, what yeah. is this so throughout the movie we don't just have flashbacks to the first movie but we also have flashbacks of his own life right so <laughs> with 27 minutes and 51 seconds there that's all the flashbacks of the first movie right so everything that we've seen in the first movie 27 minutes and 51 seconds of that is in our sequel and it sometimes has voiceovers by the main guy and you know <clears throat> makes it a little different but really it's 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 not and then at one point, it's like, how do you know all this? And he's like, my brother told me. And I'm like, your brother told you after you're getting shot in the back? Yeah. How? <laughs> like, real quick, come over here. I want to tell you something. <laughs> and then hey, we so all there's said, like five yeah. people I killed last night. I killed a cop. <laughs> like, how did he tell his brother about killing and, that cop? And also, there were some cops that, like, went into, like, another yeah. pl- house that Flashback had nothing to do with me. memories. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh. And they, like, broke in to this house and they stopped this other Santa <laughs> and the girl was like daddy yeah <laughs> and there was this like detective who had a conversation with this nun and <laughs> the nun was asleep but then she woke up <laughs> uh, so then we also have the flashbacks of his own life right which that is about 28 minutes and 48 seconds for him now there's also like fade ins and outs so my seconds could be on and off sure. but that actually leaves us with a total of uh, what did I say? 31 minutes and 21 seconds of like real time movie mm-hmm. for him. So when he starts <laughs> his recording session to whenever he goes to the nun's house, is only 31 minutes of the actual film. Yep. So, <laughs> so roughly a third yeah. of the movie is actually yeah. happening in linear time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, with 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 this as as basically the presentation of the movie. Um, you, you you're saying you you went to the video store and you 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 saw the you know the first one on the shelf but like what in t- like what made you say after watching the first one that this needs to be part of this tradition that you spoke of it wasn't actually until the second one that we really got into like oh my this has to be our like christmas movie every year cuz um i don't think you know we so you know because like there were 3 of them you know, at the time that were available on on, on VHS, and, right? You know, uh, mind you, now uh, audience, there's five. <laughs> also, Are mind there? you, now audience, VHS um, was a thing. Yes, that uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people know that it's for video home. I grew system, up with them. Yeah, <laughs> it was you know on magnetic tape. Back I once the... I I was teaching a program to children once, and we were talking about um, the Lion King, and a kid goes. Yeah, I just really love those old movies on those VHSs. Like, it's really cool. And I was like, stop talking right now, please. <laughs> I was like, don't. <laughs> They're really cool, those old VHS things. Like, Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to explain Laserdisc to Paxton one time. And he's like, well, what is it? And I'm like, it's basically like a, a DVD the size of a pizza. Yeah. You know, like, it was, you know, giant DVD. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's accurate. I have a question. Yeah. All how right. long? How long is it? How long is the movie? Mm-hmm. Eighty-eight minutes. Eighty-eight it's minutes. An hour twenty minutes. Rough. Yeah. 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 Just, you know. Yeah. So <clears throat> he's just showing off his math skills. Yeah. Right. Oh, <laughs> all right. Because <laughs> we all went. Mm, uh, yeah. Carry the one. Uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I added one plus two plus two, and I got four, and that was literally. <laughs> 30 minutes ago, so my bad. <laughs> it's yeah. five altogether. It is five, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> two plus two is four, plus one more is five. Yeah. <laughs> keeping me in check. He's keeping it, it real, man. Like, right? you know, he, yeah, I don't know where the math ability came from, by the way. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pump up my own kid. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, it's good, it's good. Pay attention. Learned... It's the one time you're going to get praise. Yeah. Um, math. <laughs> like, um, he's super good at math, dude. Like, it's a miracle I can even add. I learned it so. at school. Oh, School taught me. 
That's not good. you, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, hey. All right, so those of you out there, public education still is totally working. That's right. Uh, not, <laughs> for now, but, not, you know. Not the orphanages the time like this being. movie. Right. No, um, so we, got, we watched the first one, and I was just like, wow, that was, that was a hell of a thing. Um, so a couple of days later, we rented the sequel, and like um, I, I remember pretty distinctly, it was me and my sister and a couple of friends of ours, and we just, you know, I... I don't. I think we probably smoked a little of something, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then like checked it out, and it was just like you know, it's just jaw dropping. I mean, from the first, yeah. from the from the jump. I mean, it's you know, it's it, it's insane. It's one yeah. of the craziest movies I've ever seen. Right? Yeah. So, probably all the eyebrows. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> it's every eyebrow that he makes. Through Which this movie. I think IMDb had a, a fun. Is fact there an about eyebrow it. body? Yeah. Cam? It was like well, <laughs> it was um. What's the main guy's name? Ricky? Ricky. Ricky yeah. It was like Ricky does eyebrows like 120 something times or 200 something times. <laughs> really? Yeah. It, okay. Like someone went through and actually counted it, which is a lot more than I expected. I expected to find like the memory, the flashback breakdown. Ricky's eyebrows move up and down 130 times. Yep. Why? <laughs> what if Who it was, was 150 times? Well, that would just be yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. eyebrows, eyebrows. I'm like, I got nothing. He's just trying to he's just trying to play math games with me. What if it was like point five and it was like, well he used his right one more. Yeah, yeah. he did the rock move. I, I think it's probably if you if you counted his his number of um you know, like lines of dialogue too, it would probably come out to about right? hundred and thirty. Yeah. I mean if, you know, yeah. outside of the voiceover. Right. I mean. Doesn't say much. But what he does say, it's all with the eyebrows. Ricky's right? eyebrows really deserve their own credit. Like if you get right they down do. to it. More than likely. Yeah. <laughs> so let's dive in. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm ready. All right. All right. I don't all right, know Paxton. if you I don't think you are ready. Right. I'm ready to get spooked. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, check it out, Paxton. Okay. All right. So this movie opens up. You ready? Yeah. With shoes. <laughs> <laughs> loafers. With shoes? Lo- yep. Loafers. Shoes. Everyone wears Are you wears scared shoes. yet? Yep. Everybody no, wears shoes. I like shoes. They're really right. spooky they're, shoes. <laughs> they're black Can loafers they talk? with like tan soles. No, they can't right? talk. Can they move by their own? No, no. they are literally not important whatsoever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why did you say shoes? Because that's, that's how it starts. How this movie thinks that it should start. With okay? shoes? Yeah. Boring old shoes? Yep. Yeah. Boring old shoes. <laughs> well, they're actually, they look really new. They but, do yeah, look they new. are boring Like shoes. my golden shoes? But they're more yeah, than cool likely... <gasps> you do have gold shoes. It's rose gold. <laughs> that's awesome. Nice. So they're, they more than likely are the mental institution's shoes that yeah. he is in, right? And so they are pretty nice for that. Yeah. Um, and boom, title sequence. Then the movie decides that it needs to spend about five minutes. Silent. <laughs> silent and, wa- and like watching him stare at a wall. Basically, well, five minutes. Yeah, well, about he five also, minutes through the whole title sequence. This is also yeah. when he That's has boring. his his interaction <laughs> with the uh, with the not. I, he might be an orderly. Um, is that what it would be? Yeah, yeah. If the, yeah. And the orderly, um, the thing with the orderly is that like it. He is staring at him so hard, yeah. but you have no context of why. Not until. You realize the entire garbage day massacre happened, yeah. <laughs> but until then, you're like, "What is going on?" Well, this orderly like, is wh- watching him with like hawk eyes, and they have like the only they have silent dialogue, mm-hmm. which is like where the eyebrows come into play as well, because they have these like really intense like like eyes wide open, like looking at each other, like <laughs> I know, and the other one's like, "You know," then step back, and the other one's like, "I won't step back," so I got to keep my guard up, and the other one's like, "Don't." Because I want to kill you. Like, <laughs> just really intense interactions, and you know how hard it is to set up a real reel while not breaking <laughs> eye contact. <laughs> I have another question. Yes, are they kids or grown ups? These are all grown ups. There okay. are no kids in this movie except for one little girl in a memory. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> one little girl. One yeah. little girl. Doesn't she's matter. fine. She's good. Yeah, she's she, fine. Yeah, she she survives. She survives. Okay. Every nobody else is safe. Because she was nice, not naughty. <laughs> That's right, not naughty. Did Santa bring her lots of presents? Uh, probably. Yeah. We don't see that part. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> our Santa. It's the day before. Is a killer. Yeah. Yes. 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 He's a bad Santa. Okay. Why? Well, we'll get there. We're, we're, we're okay? going to talk about it. All right. So. Okay. Um, we are presented with the doctor, who is uh, analyzing Ricky. Right, and this movie takes just a little bit of time as well to get into 
who we're even looking at, like who we're dealing with, right? Yeah. It's not until like because they're going on and he's like, yeah, doc, and like you're not gonna break me, and you're like, well, who are you? Like, why should I care, right? And then the movie proceeds to do what it does best: flashback, <laughs> flashbacks. So I know what flashbacks are. What, I, I usually see them in movies sometimes. Okay, which, yeah. what's your best idea of what a flashback is, and how should it be um, used? My idea of a flashback is um, when I see it, like it's all like gray. Mm hmm. That would have been helpful. <laughs> but, but I like to see the color uh, like white, so I would like it better to be white instead of like gray. So black and white instead of like yellowish? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Okay. And what is this flashback supposed to do? Um, Someone has like a memory. That they think of. There yep. you go. All right. right. Um, but how many times do you think in a movie you should see a flashback? Like a couple times, probably. A couple. So like two, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's, oh. yeah, that's accurate, right? Yeah. <laughs> this movie doesn't do that. No. Not, a, not, a, not <laughs> in the least. Oh, doesn't give you the black and white. Doesn't uh, and does more than a couple. Let's put yeah. it that way. What this movie proceeds to do, and I guess like. Um, for those who want an actual like play by play, just go listen to the previous episode that we did. Episode yeah. thirty three is Silent Night, Deadly Night one, right? Where, where you, we actually describe in detail what that movie is. But so we'll kind of go just like point for point of what these flashbacks are. We'll try yeah. we'll, like we're not going to go into deep thing, right? So basically, Ricky is having memories of things that like. He like shouldn't gun have them. memories or something. Yeah, here's a great. Here's another great uh, question for you, Paxton. How? What is the farthest memory that you can think back? Like, how old do you think you were? Mm. Like, you know, with the first I thing that you can remember. Yesterday. Yo, oh. <laughs> not exactly what I was thinking. That is, hey, <laughs> but, at but the same time, though, I was accurate. playing with my friend yesterday. Let me tell you, yesterday. that's a relief. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like. <laughs> oh gosh. I was playing with my friend yesterday. Okay. That was right next door. And I have a flashback that we were using the instruments. Okay. Okay. I I I love that he has flashbacks. <laughs> wow. I had a flashback to I am, yesterday. I am haunted by the memory <laughs> of the instruments that we played yesterday. Um, I guess I and this was my question is that um, and I I guess that backs it up even more where it's like you can't remember. Do you when remember you, being a baby? Yeah. Do you remember that was the question really? Uh, I remember when I was three years old living at my great grandma's house. Okay. There you go. Okay. Right? Cool. There we go. Okay. Yeah. There, All right. Perfect. That three to five is somewhere for me too. Yeah. Right? Um you he is having memories of being an infant child. L yeah. In the car. Right. Yeah. And the doctor is is talking and questioning him. As if he's like us as an audience, yeah. being like, "You can't remember that," and oh, he's like, "I did." It was the sad ex excuse <laughs> for like babies can remember things, and it was like they can't. But he was like, but he "How was did also you remember?" Like, Billy told well, me. I did it, and he's like, "All right." <laughs> I had a flashback when my sister was at my mom's house a long yeah. time ago. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. A long time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> All right. So, um, this first flashback is of. Uh, him as an infant when his parents got murdered by a Santa who was a convenience store robber. Yeah. Um, was it a knife or a gun? Uh, it was both. Both? Yep. The f the dad gets shot through, through the windshield, and then the mom, he takes a knife to her. Okay. Okay? Does he throw the knife? No. That no, would have been cooler. That, yeah. <laughs> they, I don't think they would have had the budget for throwing a knife. No. Um, so, he takes a knife. And uh, he he take he takes care of both of them, which then puts um, Billy, which was the killer from the first movie, yep. and Ricky into a orphanage. The family which, loves wise, right? And the uh, and this leads to flashback number two. Now, flashback number two is um, the orphanage. Billy's experience in the orphanage. Okay, it's the 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 sex scene. Yeah, the, the yeah. keyhole. The <laughs> keyhole. Like you're holding incident. back, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's the key scene to the movie. Right? Okay, <clears throat> is anybody else like you? You've seen this a bunch of times, right? Way more than us. Oh yeah. Right. So they're different. These are right? different actors here. Just for this flashback. For the sex scene. Really? Yes. Yeah. They, she was a blonde in the first movie. 
I never noticed. When you do your marathon this oh, year, no. you need to. It's almost as if they got the rights, but then had to individually ask the actors or something, and they were should and and those those two were like, yeah, no, yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably she was like, I don't want my breast scene ever again. <laughs> You know, on film, let alone let, let alone for the same movie, basically. It's like, I just rather forget all about the Silent Night, Deadly Night thing. <laughs> yeah, if that's completely okay. different. At least, well, it has to be a different actor too, because it's a different actress, and they really yeah. film the scene. Yeah, just in this keyhole scene. Different stunt, but that's funny. Different <laughs> stunt, stunt, but. <laughs> stunt, but stunt, but. <laughs> <laughs> My college nickname. Um, so this is like Billy mm. sees that Mother Superior is like uh, they were being naughty, and so were you for watching. So I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna I, beat she you. was more mad at him because he left his room, right? Because in her mind, so she sent him to his room. Basically, first movie recap: she sent him to his room. Then a nice nun came in and was like, "Come outside, build a snowman with us." And then so he started to go outside, but he got distracted by the moaning. Mm-hmm. So. Mother Superior. Yeah. As you do. Yeah. 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 You're like, what's that noise? <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'll check it out. Um, but so Mother Superior was like, you left your room. That's naughty. Yeah. I hate that word after this movie. Sorry. I was like, gosh. 21 times. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that's why she's upset. Um, but she also, this is the only time that we see Mother Superior have a little bit of compassion is in that first movie. She's like, do you know why it was wrong? And she's actually like trying to explain. And this is the one time that I was like, okay, she's actually like trying to help. It's a teaching lesson for a second. Other than that, she actually wasn't a good type of nun. I (laughs) No. Yeah. Well, it's kind of being stereotypical of the nun persuasion. (laughs) 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 A lot of nonsense there. Uh, Uh, (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, <laughs> then we go back to uh, Ricky telling his story, and I'd like th- I love this. The doctor's like, "Do you dream?" Right? <laughs> and he's like, "I don't sleep." <laughs> right? <laughs> and then and then he's like, "But Billy used to dream." So back to that flashback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like they give you like two or three pieces of dialogue before they're like, "We got to get back to the l- other movie again." <laughs> 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 so then they flash over to this is where. Billy is having nightmares, right? So this is the first flashback within a flashback. Yeah. Because they then basically flashback number three inside of it has flashbacks to flashback number one. <laughs> yeah. Of his Back parents. Back to the car being, scene? Yes. Oh, my God. That's right. <laughs> yeah. um, this is like Inception. Oh, yeah. It, like, there's like some <laughs> yeah. serious shit going on. <laughs> It's so deep. Hey, he's just spinning a dreidel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. Layers uh, upon layers, yeah. you guys. <laughs> so um, uh, then this is also the flashback where um, it shows that Mother Superior wants to put Billy on Santa's lap. Um, yeah. And then he decks Santa like, with the, the <laughs> just he's so hardest punch. He's so strong for a child. <laughs> yeah, right? So um, after that, <laughs> it, they, the doc literally goes let's jump ahead and I just wanted him to be like because we don't have footage from that 10 year gap <laughs> it's like let's jump ahead <laughs> yeah right and then we go into flashback 4 yeah okay so and you would think the way I'm describing it it seems like this is all happening within the first 5-10 minutes maybe no 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 no. <laughs> what did you say the math was on the first movie again? Uh, twenty twenty seven minutes fifty one seconds. These are full out scenes. Yeah, yeah. So or, we're, or we're about multiple. Literally like, about a third of the way into the movie, like just at this point, I think. Yeah. 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 Because now we're now this is Billy, not Ricky. Billy as an adult, all still from the same first movie, right? <clears throat> um, this is showing his new job at the toy store, Iris Toy Store. Right. Um, it leaves out the um, silly, sappy uh, Iris Toy Store montage from the first movie. Oh, I loved it. Though. <laughs> right. Come on down to Iris Toys. It's like a positive, like <laughs> right? you can work anywhere you want to as long as you're happy. <laughs> Your parents <laughs> might be murdered, but it doesn't yeah. mean you're not a good boy. You know, <laughs> like it's just so like cheesy. And I miss that because that's another thing. I missed the like music from the first movie. I really miss that, like the Santa's the watching. Yeah, Santa's all the music. Santa's waiting. Made up. They're all made Santa's up. silently <laughs> mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> watching you sleep. Little pictures. <laughs> um, so, 
this is where it shows Billy snapping, going over the edge, um, and he kills uh, four people, all from the first movie, all the toy store people from the toy store. Stockroom guy, the floor girl, right? evil, evil Andy. Did anybody else yeah. notice? I don't remember this from the first one either, but when they're all singing like they're like... Uh, Song. They're all celebrating before the murders start. There's two other people in yeah. there. Yeah, in the right? first movie there are. And I, think I so. guess they just they probably leave. Yeah, they were like the back room's taken. Let's go to a car. I guess they just leave. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. In the first movie, did they do the close up of the Nutcrackers? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's probably still my favorite part. Creepy my plastic part Santa. From, yeah, my favorite part from both <laughs> movies. Now is just the screams going with the nutcrackers with their open mouths. <laughs> it's like, ah! And you just see those classic wooden nutcrackers with their mouths open, like, ah, ah, ah. Like, and by the way, thanks for saving me. Like, you know, I mean, what did, what yeah, did We addressed that, right? Oh, you did? Okay, yeah. good. I'm glad you talked about well, that. Well, because she doesn't, like, it's um, like, hello? Well, basically, and this movie makes up for it. Because that <laughs> this girl thanks. Yeah. Says it ever. <laughs> yes, she does. Yeah, that's right. This well, like, movie yeah. does the same. His first official kill. That's also the first official kill. Of this movie for like the main character is the same. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a stopping somebody from possibly getting sexually assaulted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think in the first movie because he saw her. I'm not trying to justify a victim or a death. But in the first movie, he saw her making out with him, and he mm-hmm. was like, "That's mine." Like he had more of a like a macho, connection. Yeah, because he was like, having dreams of her. Yeah, like where he you felt, saw a man butt. Yeah, oh man butt. <laughs> but so like he had more of a connection to it, and he felt more like they both were being naughty. Whereas in the first one, or where in the second one, and his later flashback, which we're not there yet, obviously, right? With the jeep, but he. He felt more like in that one, just the guy was being naughty. Right, but he also has plans to probably watch her through a peephole in the shower because he's dressed like Norman Bates in that yeah. flashback. Oh, he <laughs> Norman is like Bates Norman with Bates. frosted tips. Yeah, well, it, he especially looks like the Freddie Highmore Norman Bates from the Bates Motel TV series. They really do look similar. Oh, that was a good TV good show. Yeah, I will say Ricky, by and large, seems to have a little bit more of a moral code, you know, than yeah. uh, than, than Billy did. You know, Billy yeah. was Billy a was more, just a Billy rampage. was more like chaos. But it's all, chaotic evil, you know. But the moral code, killing spree, killing spree. Yeah. The moral code is also strongly based around just the color red. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, yeah. <laughs> like, isn't that what? That's what sets him off later. Right. We'll get to that flashback yeah. in a second. Here. Well, no, that's a <clears throat> current time in the movie. No, but like the establishment of that flashback starts with the killing of the Santa in the court in the courtyard. On Christmas morning, the when the cop thinks that that's Billy and it's not. Oh yeah, but the color red, the most sure. subtle reference of it is the B, or is it an R? A B or an R on the. Um, I thought the most the subtle. Yeah. Oh, see, that's that, when you don't even know it's coming. Yeah, I guess not. I don't. I that one was that one was confusing. The B on the handkerchief that he's talking about, because okay. I thought that the way he, they like, revealed yeah, the it. The psychologist pulls it out and is like. <gasps> It's the color red and like folds it up and puts <laughs> yeah. it away. Like he can sense it, not even like he has to see it. He just senses it like some like superhero bowl. <laughs> like, ah, oh, Matadors! Don't move! Like, <laughs> don't move! Yeah. His vision's based on the color red. <laughs> <laughs> His eyebrows are based on the vision red. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> they screwed that one up. Are you going to talk eyebrows? to him about. How, just how the the psychiatrist gets more and more sweaty. Like, yeah, the he movie gets progresses. So sweaty. But it's also <laughs> it's also some weird like they were thought they were being clever with the scene transition because it was raining like as it faded over. Be like it was rain equals him. sweat. Yeah, like, oh, oh my! <laughs> God, so this room is a hundred fifty percent humidity. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and then. Uh, they do the toy store flashback, and then the, the it goes back to the dock, and he says he starts like he goes, "Were they being naughty?" naughty. Right? I'm like, "Why <laughs> did you say it like that?" Like, and what is your goal here? Because um, as we learn further on, he's interviewing him basically to get 
like basically a baseline for his like what his mental state is probably yeah. so that when they go to court do they declare him mentally insane or is he able to stand trial for it seems six to seven <laughs> murders <laughs> <laughs> um and so he's like taunting him but not in the ways that you would expect i was like why are you being like naughty <laughs> <laughs> that's are you flirting this... with me? Right. <laughs> you, know, you, have... can, you can get closer, you know. <laughs> okay. So Why don't you sit have... over here? Right? <laughs> You're going to be a naughty boy for me. But then it also, this is whenever we, oh, we, okay. One of the flashbacks was just the most uncomfortable scene from the first movie that I just. Okay. It was the scene with the child on his lap. Oh, oh yeah. Stop yeah. it. Stop moving. You're being, Stop. You're being, you're being, you're being naughty. Very well, that's naughty. where three of our naughties I counted it, come from. Yeah, that's the worst scene in this movie. <laughs> yeah. And naughty, the first movie. Naughty, naughty children get punished. You know that. Can I right? talk? Uh, <laughs> you can talk. No, naughty children get punished. Did you just hear what I said? <laughs> right. <laughs> what? What's up? What would you like to say? Can we hop into the movie? We are. <laughs> we are. We're, this are is you the lost? Movie. Are you lost yet? No. No. <laughs> this is the movie. What did you think we, we weren't? See, this is proof positive that this movie is yeah, so, confusing. so confusing. So you're not going to watch the movie? Oh, no, no we're not. No, at, no, 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 we watched it. Oh, you thought you were going to watch it today? Oh, we talk about it. Yeah, we talk Buddy, about We're like it. boring adult version Buddy, of you it. Buddy, can't, you can't watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Maybe someday. Yeah. 13. Okay. But when, this, when is why we're, this is why we have to describe it to you, right? We've already mm. described too much, and you're taking it pretty well. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you won't remember tomorrow. Nah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, right? I have flashbacks of my dad talking about a movie that I'd never seen. Oh, tomorrow's Monday, though, so school might I be hate... bad. I'm going to school tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He just goes to school. I hate the color gray. <laughs> <laughs> they remind me and of then flashbacks. In four days, I'm on a gonna be like, Christmas got, vacation. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any big plans? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Well, it's Christmas, though, so it's fun no matter what, right? Yeah. There's yeah. going to be a marathon of this movie yeah. <laughs> that you're not invited to, apparently. <laughs> no, we're, we're actually probably on Christmas Eve. I think we're going to watch it at my sister's. Oh, cool. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. This movie? It's still going. It's yes, good. Yes, this movie. It's, yeah. Okay. You know, everybody's got to jump in at some point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've, I know. say that, I say this all the time. I thank my mother a <clears> lot. Um, you know, everybody's got their own reasons why or why not. But my mom introduced me to like horror and basically everything at a very early age and basically was like, we're going to watch it together. Because uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, I'll be able to answer them for you. I'd rather that than you sneak it on your own and <clears throat> formulate some crazy, like, you know, opinion or, I don't know, start worshiping the devil. Like, <laughs> I, uh, my parents <laughs> legit were like, family dinner night, let's all sit down and watch X Files. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was casual and normal for us. So now I'm like, oh, this is fine. Everything I see is fine. Because, you know. It, it was first grade, I guess, I would assume, first or second grade when we started watching just X-Files, which that's, like, not, like, totally terrifying of a show, but, like, I still, because of season one, mm -hmm. I think it's season one, I don't remember which episode, but the sewer monster that lives in porter potties. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you know what I'm talking about, based on that-ish? It vaguely, he, at yeah. One was... okay, so he doesn't live in porter potties, but at one point he yeah, goes I'm into like, a porter potty. how does he get from potty to potty? <laughs> well, want, he's like, he, it's basically like the creature from the Black Lagoon. But well, he's like I trying mean, to find, it is a Black yeah, Lagoon. <laughs> but like, he's trying to find somewhere to hide, but then it shows like a sewage company coming to like suck the water out of a porter potty. Mm -hmm. And like, he was in there and like, he got he's sucked like, No, no, no. Like, yeah, he's in the water treatment plant. And they're like, oh, no. Scully's like, wow. But like, that's why I have a fear of porter potties okay. because of X Files season one okay. as I would, a child. I would say, too, that fear is actually totally justified basically yeah. you know i mean, I mean you could have pretty... at least alligators in there but like, i also in the sewer. To, i used to think porter potties had like a tap into like the underground saying, well of urinal are you saying porter potties what are they called porter porta like porta porta oh, like porta ball it's port port hyphen. port dash uh dash potty well you know what? you've screwed up worse potty. words so <laughs> he's got it yeah. <laughs> I don't don't make me start on the list of words you've messed you up. You should listen you to me. To it. Yeah. We should listen to you. <laughs> yeah, no man. You know, it's funny as um I was like probably about seven or eight and I was, you know, did a did a like uh slumber party over to friend's place and uh I don't know when there was a massacre. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so party massacre. massacre. There was a driller killer. Um, <laughs> you know, but I think uh I think his parents either had or had rented or something, um the Funhouse by Toby Hooper, which oh, yeah. I don't know if you've ever yeah, seen yeah, that, yeah. but like, 
Um, <laughs> you go back and you watch right? it now, and you're like, man, this, this this shit is cheesy. But you're like six, seven or eight years old. It's like, oh my god, this dude is totally waiting in the garage to murder <laughs> us all. You know this. This, yep. you know, this latex was, lips out here, you know. Well, like, so that's you what, hear me say porta potty. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's having flashbacks already. Right. Fla- wow, real quick. His earliest memory was being on a podcast and correctly pronouncing porta potty. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when it all it's went wrong. Or to potty. Man, gonna, he is schooling I, you. Yeah, I'm going to have so much to answer for when yeah. he's an adult. Man. And then I'll answer <laughs> all your questions. It, right? That's good. <laughs> you're going to you're you're going to be you're going to be in like high school and your friends will be like, "Remember when you were on that podcast, man?" <laughs> 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 Those guys suck. <laughs> We're, the We're these old guys right. on the. It's not even, they're not even on the radio. <laughs> and then I would ignore them. <laughs> they yeah. were good. That's, that's yeah. how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you do it. Right? You're already in the. Right, right see, state of yeah, mind. see, we're yeah, because that—that's how you—that's the healthy way to deal with. And bullies. I'll tell him to be quiet. Good, see, good, see, thank you. See, he can say that without a bunch of tears and somebody filming him and it going viral. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, no one can film now because the door's shut. And we're only yeah, on microphones. And, is, they yeah. would, and they would have to open the door, and <laughs> put on a headset. Too. That's right, and then you'll make your own, right? And you'd be like, "Oh, remember DVD, man." <laughs> We used to have it put a disc in a machine and My it would dad play. used to tell me about laser discs. Do you remember well. when you had to watch movies on a screen before you could just jack it right into your brain pan you just and think just about it. visualize it? Whoa. You could just be the movie. It's like Johnny Mnemonic, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we gotta. We, 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 this, hold on. I'm sorry, this is gonna be the longest episode what of your podcast we, ever. No, no, the longest no. one is We've Super been Mario here Brothers. For like are you serious? Oh, yeah, so <laughs> Super Mario <laughs> Brothers. We had the biggest tangents. Like I think it went two thirty. I think it's two hours and thirty what? minutes. We sat I here really for like Mario almost Brothers. an hour. Uh, oh, no, we've either. only been here 30, 30 minutes. A half an hour? Yeah. Oh, gosh. It felt like somebody's math is finally off. <laughs> what time did we come in here? Oh well, that's the different. Yeah. That's a different thing. That's dentist time. Yeah, but buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> okay, and doctor time. Uh, buddy. So what? Punish. No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> that just sounds like you wiped him out. Punish. Punish. No. <laughs> okay. So uh, back to the film. Here yep. we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's. All right. Listen. We're into flashback. Um. <laughs> We're into flashback number six, where this is the mistaken identity kill. Well, no, not kill. Just a mistaken identity, where there's a Santa. The cops are on the run, yeah. an all-points bulletin, and the cops A-B-B. go into... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, for those of you who don't know. Um, and the cops go into a random house and be like, freeze, guy. and it's just a fake-out scene from the first yeah. movie, right? Um, and this is why do we, we get, need that? I don't know, this but movie. this is also like when we get my favorite line where what? he just goes, Really? Well, maybe we're just jerking off here then. Right? And I was like, Yeah, I think we are just jerking off here. <laughs> like, All right. This whole film is just jerking me off. <laughs> Messing around. Right? And, and, and he says it, and then they're like, well, back to the flashback. Yeah. <laughs> well, back to the jerk off <laughs> session. Well, then it goes back to the longest flashback that we have from the first movie, and it includes... The, and I think this is the flashback that has like a single second cutaway to um, Ricky. Yeah, Ricky? because yeah. this is where they're trying to establish the final the, moments. Yeah, they're trying to establish that like, hey, that kid is Ricky. Yeah. So we're gonna flash from kid face to adult face to kid face, and yeah. every time he looks one way, he's gonna look the mm-hmm. other way. Right? They're really driving it home. But this has this scene has like. The uh, this the Santa getting shot. It's mm-hmm. got the cop getting shot, which there was no time for. Cop getting, he's getting axed. The cop got axed. Yeah, he gets okay, axed yeah. in the chest. Yeah. Yeah. So the yeah the yeah this one's long. Yeah. So the cop shoots who he but thinks got. And they said it was the father in the first one. And now that he was like, ah, but he was the janitor. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, they so did. they they oh. changed that to. It's like it's like. They used footage from the first movie, but didn't even watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got, like, it's such a long flashback scene, and all of this ends with, of course, Billy being shot. Right. And dying. Mm-hmm. And then, but somehow that 
knowledge of flashback and information gets transferred over to Ricky? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. No, it does. It's like, <laughs> it goes through the axe because then all of our flashbacks end. Well, all you got to do is say naughty, yeah. and then you, you have a privy to right? all previous memories <laughs> of the last killer. But all of our flashbacks from the first movie end with Ricky staring at the axe that Billy dropped. Right. As he was about to kill the nun but got shot in the back and died himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're done with the first movie, and we're about halfway through this movie. <laughs> At the same time. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're halfway through the second movie? Yes. A little bit, yeah. About a, yeah, about a third of the way. Is um, there a third movie? Or so no. all of that was flashbacks one through nine. Okay? Okay. All right. Really? I thought it was seven. Nope. Seven? Uh, no, I just... Uh, flashback five, I, I we kind of just skipped over. It's the deer antler death Oh, um, yeah. I thought that was just meshed in with the other ones. No, that's there. Like, I actually labeled them per death or per, like, main yeah. context of the flashback. So, yeah, flashback nine was the cop death and then everything else there. Um, so now we start going into new scenes that were filmed for the movie but are still flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> and is our first our first this flashback is, is him as a child. Uh, yeah, and now he's been adopted by the Rosenbergs, which he immediately like, they didn't celebrate Christmas. I'm like, Jewish. Well, listen I wonder, to wonder why the game. Rosenbergs didn't <laughs> celebrate Christmas. They didn't do Christmas. Yeah, they didn't do Christmas. Like, um, their they names, didn't do Christmas. Their name's their Rosenberg. <laughs> the no. dad's name is Morty. <laughs> And the mom puts a rock on his gravestone. Like, what yeah. do you like? Do you need any other explanation? Like, they're really driving mm. it home for some like, reason. I guess they were Jewish. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Their holidays weren't Dre Dole. Uh. <laughs> Come on. They have eight oh, nights of so a holiday, funny. right? Dre <laughs> Dole. <laughs> How is it so funny? This this it's, you'll you'll understand. This movie was originally older. called Eight Crazy Flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was eleven. There is. There, like, there, there, yeah, it's, it, it, <laughs> Colin, he, he knows he math. knows math. Yeah. He <laughs> doesn't know Dr- subtle jokes. <laughs> Drax the Destroyer over here. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's literal. <laughs> Oh, why would ah, <laughs> why would I put yeah. my finger to his throat? <laughs> you must be humiliated. It did not go over my head because I have superior speed. <laughs> my reflexes are too it. fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, Guardians. <laughs> Oh my God! But you, know yeah. you know it's awesome though. Is like you know, having you should kids are great because you know all of a sudden you have like a built-in like straight man. You know, like, yeah, right. <laughs> it really is really giving it to you. You're like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I've never been felt so raw and open on the inside. Like, oh God, I feel pain <laughs> and sadness. Uh, I worked. Uh, He's like, your jokes aren't working, <laughs> and I'm like, I know, kid, I know. Yeah. No, <laughs> It's the worst when they just like like unintentionally like just could completely just like fucking own you on oh, something. And it's, it's just like so oh, funny. Oh, what what? How did this happen? <laughs> I uh so I worked in overnight summer camp and there were countless times where everything like that happens. It's like when you're sleeping in a in a cabin with seven to ten, seven to nine year olds. And once my co counselor, he was uh same age, like twenty something, and he lived or he was from South Africa and one of the kids was like, Oh Sean, have you ever been to Target? Like just a simple store. Mm-hmm. And he was like, No, I've never been to Target. That was more Australian. <laughs> but South <laughs> South American. Like, South African. Did did you need the accent? <laughs> but <laughs> But then the kid is like, Sean I know you're from South Africa, but how have you never been to Target? Like, it was a crime against humanity. <laughs> like, kids don't understand. There's stuff that doesn't exist elsewhere. <laughs> Target is not universal. I just I just love it where, like, they, they literally will just call you on stuff. Yeah. <laughs> where, you're like, where you're like, Mom, you said Aunt Rose smoked way more than just cigarettes last night. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> The worst, yeah, it's the worst where they bust you on stuff. Oh, you know, it's yeah. like you're trying, like you know, you told them something about someone that's there, and then they <laughs> tell them, and you're just like, "Oh my, why did I take a nine year old into my confidence? That was the stupidest <laughs> goddamn thing I've ever done." Like, <laughs> I just love, there's a tweet <laughs> online where it's like, <laughs> "I tell them my deepest, deepest, darkest fears." I love the punch. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a there's a tweet online, and someone's like, uh. We were in a grocery store, and someone said they love my hair. My daughter goes, don't worry, it's a wig. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Which I was like, so, yes. um, Realistic. 
during flashback number 10 here. Okay, right? one more flashback. Yep. Yes. The panic nun scene. Yes, where nuns are kind of like floating across the sidewalk. That's right. But they look—they're not really intimidating. They're no. like—they look like—they look like nice young nuns, yeah, just, like, hey, like that one nun from Sister Act anything. that I was kind yeah. of attracted to as a child. Yeah, the kind of hot one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the only nuns. one that. Yeah, the one that wasn't in Hocus Pocus. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's Hocus Pocus? <gasps> it's another. It's another story for another time. That's yeah. a great movie. That's, that's it, a, is, it is pretty good. Though. Is it that's, a Halloween movie? How's he not yeah. seen Hocus Pocus? Okay, I've seen it. I feel before. like that's one yeah. of Amy's favorite what, movies. The three witches, so, right? just by default. Like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Three witches. Like, yeah, I've seen I feel like it's every lady's favorite Halloween yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's such a good movie. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's good. Sarah Keep Jessica watching. Parker was in it before she looked like a toe. You know? Yeah, like, she honestly that's good the movie. She's super like, cute in that movie. Every actually. time I see it, I'm like, I honestly do not she's believe like, it's Sarah Jessica Parker. Little yeah. children, I I'll am. I'll take I these am. Away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only, so only here though. On the way. <laughs> Sex in a city. You lied to me. Yeah. You were false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've told me that. I story. did. You yeah. did. Okay. I was like, like the first time they advertised Sex in a City as a child. I was like, ooh, I was just at that age. I was like, well, it looks like we're staying up late, late tonight, night tissue TV. box. <laughs> and then was like, I just spent a half an hour and nothing happened. <laughs> they just talked it's about like, I stayed things. up till 11.45 to like watch her type in her apartment. <laughs> this is, what the, what the. <laughs> yes. Hey, but the chick oh. from Mannequin's in this. <laughs> oh. All right. <sighs> Do you know how old my sister is? No. Twelve. No. How old? Eight. Eight? Oh. Can she uh can she remember things? Yes. Okay. Is she good at math? <laughs> yeah, well, okay. she's not smart as me. Oh, oh <laughs> dude. What she's is gonna that? hear what is, this? That is that's messed up. She wow. doesn't even know long division. Oh, <gasps> well long division is the key to everything. What about short so. division? She's in third grade. <laughs> okay. And and I'm do in long grade. division in third grade. That's what I learned. Why am I sticking up for her? (laughs) (laughs) You don't care. (laughs) I don't care. Not my daughter. (laughs) Like, oh, well. (laughs) Truth in words. Pet and buddy, be nice to your sister. Yeah. Your Your siblings actually, like, right now, like, me and my brother fought, like, constantly growing Mm. up, and he's only two years away from me. (laughs) But he's honestly, he's my best friend. Is this working out for you guys? I was feeling a little guilty. I was like, huh? I should be in fifth grade by now. Oh. If I didn't do first grade twice. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> well, Fla- flashback 10. Aiming you at your own foot. <laughs> flashback 10. Fla- yes. this, is, this is his flashback 10. <laughs> right? I admitted something I shouldn't have. It's been recorded. It is in the interwebs well, for forever. I'm actually going to have to pay you guys to not put this on the internet, I think is what it is. Like, this is just going to be the lost episode. This is. Like, wouldn't this be the, the first Patreon. one. <laughs> this is the Patreon. But yeah, yeah. Can, can, do you guys have like a have second watched... tier for your Patreon? No, because we can't really watched... decide <laughs> what what people would actually pay for versus what not. <laughs> have you watched the movie Sing? Sing? Oh. Yeah, have you seen it? It's no. Funny. Is it bad? It's, it's no, actually... It's, it's funny, a movie. You can well, find it on Netflix. Well, you're it's on like... the wrong show. <laughs> we love the bad. Yeah, I'm not, we love I'm the not, bad movies. Now, I'm not like easily manipulated. Dead? but I I'm going to ask you. I want you to think about it. Okay. By the end of this episode, you're going to tell me your suggestion for a, what you think is a really bad movie. So think like, about what it. what movie did you utterly hate? But right. don't answer right now. Think about it, okay? I've never watched any movie that I hated. Well, well actually, oh, no, See, hold on. You said actually. So what I want you to do is instead of thinking Write it down. of your first one, yeah. think of like a couple of choices. Yeah. Okay. yeah make a list. Ask yeah. Moo what his his least favorite movie was. Okay. All right. Cool. So while that's going on, <laughs> back to the movie. Which flashback? Okay. We are- um, Child. He, he saw nuns floating towards him. And right. the mom was like, oh, God, the color red. And yeah. she panicked. Right. And But and, then they get into the scene of- the parents at the are orphanage. trying to give him back. Yeah, but then like they're like, "Sorry, don't, we didn't keep the I receipt." Guess. I don't know. <laughs> Morty's like, "I can't take it," yeah. <laughs> and um, and then it just goes to then flash forward more. So that yeah. kid got a minute and thirty seconds of screen time before yeah. they were like, <laughs> "Next kid, thanks." Uh, and now they say it's five years later, and Morty Rosenberg has died, but. 
the person that's playing Ricky now is pretty much a full grown early twenties adult. It it was the stress I think of, you know, <laughs> keeping his son away from anything that's red. <laughs> That, that, that did him in. Really. Anything <laughs> it triggering. It becomes like a punch buggy game like on the road. Just, oh, God. He might at any time just throw a, like a rope around his neck from the back seat. Uh, like, seriously, red? Like, that's yeah. a lot to deal with. That's, that's tough. You know, it took its toll on Morty. He gets a cut and, like, he just starts stabbing himself. Yeah. Like, uh, uh. red. <laughs> yeah, red, red, red. I so, um, flashback number 10 is is also the Jeep death. Yeah. Okay. This so is his most Norman E. Batesy. Yeah. He's dressed like Norman Bates. He's got frosted bangs. He's like <laughs> my dad died <laughs> and that. like I was kind of like sad about it. Walking through the woods. So I went gonna, emo. Yeah. What does he yeah. say? He's like, I went walking through the woods because <clears throat> when you're alone it's a great he says some weird line about being alone. He's like, when you're alone in the woods, you don't have anyone else, and it's great because there's silence. Like, <laughs> all right, thanks, kid. <laughs> thanks, like, there's woodsman. nothing yeah. red in the woods yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. That would have made more sense than what he did. But say. this is this is also I can't whenever... be triggered. <laughs> but then I saw a freaking yeah. jeep. <laughs> he talks to a psychologist. Is this when he says, "I've never told anyone this"? Yeah. Yeah. He goes, yeah, "I've yeah. never told anyone this." Well, I never told anyone this. Let it out. Here it comes. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. I'm sorry. My stuffed animal found a movie that he doesn't like. Oh, okay, okay, great. Well, hold it. Okay, yeah, we're on a we're on a roll. So okay, so um, yeah, so he sees this man and this woman having like a blanket type picnic, right? And I love uh, (laughs) he he's trying to he's like you're gonna need a new shirt. Right, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, "Why?" And you'd think he'd be like, "Cause I'm gonna rip that one off of you." No, he he goes, "Cause I see something I like." <laughs> I'm like, "That's not the appropriate line, even if you were being creepy." Yeah, <laughs> like step up your creep game if you're gonna be creepy. It's a hell of a right? non sequitur. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's like, she's like, "You're a pig," and and he's like, "Yep, right." And and basically, <laughs> he's like takes a swig of Tecante. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, was it not obvious by the Tecante? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, um, he tries to force himself upon her. <clears throat> and then, um, uh, what's it called? She's like, no, like, it's fine when we're around your friends, but here it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, also not the appropriate How response does that here. make it okay? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Find her on your friends. It's fine we're on the when we're on the movie set, Spacey, but not yeah. at your home. Oh, <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> I told you that in confidence. Oh, I'm sorry. Just kidding. So he's like, I'm gonna go get a beer, right? Yeah. He goes back to his red Jeep, right? And then while he's I don't know, put the hood up or something. I don't remember really what happened there, yeah. but out of nowhere, Ricky's in the front seat, blows the horn. Then turns on, and he's like, burn, right? And he's like, who's that? And then he's like, oh, I better turn on the car because yeah. now I've revealed myself and I need to put this into drive. Runs <laughs> over him and then continues to be like back and forth, back and forth. He's really just meshing him into the mud. And she, uh, the girl, is down at the bottom of the hill and like looks at the Jeep and all sees it go back and forth and she's like looking in horror. Like, like what's going on? Yeah, She's like, oh, right? And I'm like, how are you terrified? Like you'd be like, oh, he's drunk. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, I should leave. I shouldn't. I should leave. No, I should stay. No, right? I should leave. And so what has happened is Ricky roll, rolled over him multiple times, and she comes up and sees that, and is like, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly the appropriate Just response. Walks away. Because tips of the fedora, yeah, m'lady, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, right? <laughs> oh, you <he> would too. <laughs> I killed him for you. You're welcome. <laughs> eh, with the eyebrows. Right. <laughs> um, hmm. this was also another flashback within a flashback because when the man is trying to. Uh, force himself on her. He rips his her shirt open, and it flashes back to the mother from the first movie and her shirt being ripped yep. open. So, uh, back a flashback within a flashback. Um, and then after this, 
the movie holds on the back of the red Jeep and then fades over to the dock, like, writing red car. <laughs> <laughs> Under I, and he, I and he don't, goes, I'm hardly listening. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, red car, good point. This is when Ricky is also like, in his ear. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right up next to him. It's, I think, like, my favorite thing about Ricky is that, like, he's very well aware of what's happening. Yes. He's... He knows that he's in this mental facility for whatever reasons <laughs> right? he's in there. And he knows that he's been, what does he say? This is the 13th or something? <laughs> right. The 13th something psychiatrist yeah. that's tried to analyze him or whatever. So he mm. knows the deal. He knows the jig. He knows <laughs> right? what's up. Go ahead and try. I'm basically like, leading you down a path love, of pointlessness. <laughs> red car, good point. Like, <laughs> it's nothing, you idiot. And then backs away. And all and the like, effort. God, I love Ricky. It took that guy all that effort to write six letters that he didn't notice Ricky <laughs> yeah. get up from the other side of the table walk all the way around and just be like Red Red <laughs> I'm still thinking of a movie but okay good. good we yeah. like it keep it going use that brain keep at it all right so <clears throat> then, then we have our Ollie then murder. he's like yeah then he's like, like it's not the first time guess what there's more <laughs> but wait <laughs> there's more <laughs> <laughs> and um and then watches, yeah, um, and and then proceeds to do the fine. No, the second. There's twelve flashbacks. My mistake. There's twelve. No, I think you counted wrong. I don't think so. No, I think you did. Well, you know, somebody, somebody, correct me. Somebody's listening. Somebody, correct me. Okay. Not, oh, no, not you, math wizard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, if if you could actually tell me every flashback that y- you were paying attention to. I will I will get you a prize, but if not, keep thinking things. He's been writing red car over <laughs> yeah. and over again. Red car. Like- <laughs> He's got one flashback down. And that's enough. So <laughs> what um, prize? I'm I'm not telling, but it, it'll be good. Trust me. Like, but yeah, you can you tell me if you can remember this movie. That's going to be your other challenge. If you've been listening at all to tell me anything that we said. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how strong your flashback skills are by the end of this episode. <laughs> so, um, okay, this is the umbrella kill. Yeah. In this flashback, and this one. Kill. Okay, so what was the motivation? Like somebody owed somebody money. It was like a mob deal going down in the back, or like a drug deal. Like, right. I gave you a brick, and you didn't give me the whatever I needed. I don't know drugs. Did he kill piece. him? Because if he did, he beat him up real well. Is right, the best I could say. Yeah, <laughs> like, and then and then he's the type of guy who also, I guess, like gets blood on his hands a lot, so decides to buy a red <laughs> handkerchief. <laughs> yeah, uh, because that's what like Ricky got a job and is watching this all go down, right in this back alley, and then proceeds to like kind of just watch it. But then when he sees that the guy's got a red tie and a red handkerchief, oh, it's time, like. Grabs him, picks him up by the throat, right? Grabs a broken Suspended umbrella. him in air, right? And then proceeds to like stare at him and then stare at other things like he's the Terminator <laughs> yeah. analyzing <laughs> his subjects <laughs> and the things around him. Like he's got these weird like pan and scan like eye movements and like head movements. And he's like, mm, processing umbrella, picking up umbrella, <laughs> and then stabs it through the guy, opens and- it up. Opens, opens it, it up, <laughs> right? That's like a robot. Yeah, it is like a robot, a little bit. So, um, and then you it rains. This is the thing like, about this rain, movie is that like with these over the top kills, right? And we haven't even gotten to all of them yet. You would think that there'd at least be some one liners. There's you know, one, <laughs> there's one, right? Yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> no. Don't say it. Yeah, I don't spoil it for anybody. Yeah, I mean, like. Even even something like no rain, no gain. Yeah. <laughs> right? So right? stay dry out there. <laughs> like, like, if you can read this, turn me upside down <laughs> for the Jeep one. Oh, We're here for like forty five minutes. That's correct. Yeah. Um so so then yeah, nothing. that happens, <laughs> and then someone's like, right? er, the the psychiatrist is like, but also tell me about Jennifer. 
right? Like, and then she, no, I don't want she to gave you a headshot. <laughs> we like signed headshot. We whiplash over to her because the movie I don't want to talk wants about to deal Jennifer. with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like, know who Jennifer is. Well, we're You're about to tell find you. Yeah. Out. So he loved Jennifer. Jennifer and he like slept together in a bed. She took his virginity. Yes, because that. <laughs> that's important. That's right, He's he, like, it he, was my he, first time, and I thought it was hers too. Yeah, he was <laughs> that's like, how it comes and, off. Yeah, bummed that other people can then do I other learned things. <laughs> I was like, you're not that special. I don't want Sorry. my partners to have had a life before <laughs> yeah. me. Then I learned that she slept with the Joker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the Joker. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, they meet because he's dressed like Cool Hand Luke. <laughs> he, he, yeah, he he's like called. he's like a member. He's a lost member of the T Birds, and <laughs> and basically is like riding on a motorcycle. He's got a leather jacket. He's Slowly got a white T shirt, up. right? And she is in this giant parking lot with him, like coming towards him in her like eighties Mustang, and then hits the back of his tire. Are as they if, are what? they still in what was it? Idaho, Montana? I don't know. That part, yeah. he could have been anywhere. That it part mostly doesn't. just looks like, like the mountain. Thousand region Oaks. Of, yeah, like, it really so. does. Yeah, yeah. Like, it really. It's just kind of like we're standing here. There are mountains like three hundred feet in the background. Like it's like mm. they could be in Colorado, Idaho, Montana, California. Mm-hmm. Like I could never tell where they were because it was so generic to the like Western United States. Yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, okay, so she gets out of her car. And um, guess what we see? Guess what we see, Max? Math. No. Guess what we see? What? How did this movie start? Do you remember what was the first thing I told you that we saw? No. Shoes. Shoes. Oh, yeah. shoes. shoes. Right? Because this movie loves shoes. Right? So, mm. and then it slow pans up, right? She's got the longest legs, by the way, right? Because the saxophone is like... <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, like it is going straight like like noir <laughs> for no reason. And um and they hit it off immediately. I guess she abandons her car and gets on the motorcycle <laughs> yeah. and then they go to like a cabin in the woods or something and and sleep with each other. Um and then It's a long drive. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. They got to know each other pretty well. So then it flushes over to. Um, did the I say scene. flush? Yeah. Flash. Flash. Sorry. Flush. We accepted it. Yeah. So so we have a, a flash sideways within a flashback. Yeah. Then, yeah. Essentially to the okay. the movie scene. movie theater. Yeah. And um, and they're watching Chaos the movie. <laughs> it's, uh, and I'm like I'm like I'd rather watch that movie. It sounds awesome, right? Yeah, right. You're like you don't like, see it. You, what? <laughs> I, 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 I totally forgot about this. This yeah. is awesome. Yes. Please, please continue. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Is the like, movie that they yes. do wind up seeing? Yes. Okay. All right. So they're watching this a trailer for <clears throat> Chaos the Movie, and she's like, you like this? And oh, he's like, he's, like yeah. he's raging right. to it. He's like, <laughs> yeah. I am full and ready and just... <laughs> so- this is the this is the part My of the movie. My blood is flowing. There is a there is a basically like a heckler in the back row, like just being annoying, talking over the trailer. Not even a good heckler. Nah, no, it's, it's like, a shitty heckler. Yeah, yeah. It'll, there would be something in the movie where it would just be like, "Don't forget your popcorn." And He's snacks. about as good and as he'd us. He'd be like, ah, "Popcorn <laughs> and snacks. We eat those." Right. Like <laughs> commenting on things that don't need to be commented on. Oh, you're Actually, walking across the street like a yeah. street walking across her. <laughs> yep. Like, that that actually sums up this podcast, and we're done. Thank you for joining us. This is Bombs Away. Goodbye. Um, we have 11 minutes till it's over. That's yeah. right. <laughs> if that. Um, so enjoy it. That's yeah. right. Please so, enjoy it. Um, this is the part where I started going, is this movie – just the writer's like fantasy of every single annoying person or anybody has ever yeah. done him wrong in his life that he what he'd wish <laughs> they'd be like you know there was a guy that he owed money to and he's like I wish I could stab him with an umbrella there's like there's a guy that he saw try to like assault a woman he's like I wish I could run him over the car there's the guy that oh, won't stop talking in the back of the theater there's like his new girlfriend's ex-boyfriend that's always <laughs> coming around the cops that you one know? guy taking out trash <laughs> <laughs> garbage day here it comes. <laughs> so right? this whole movie scene, basically to sum it up, 
the heckler in the back gets killed, and then the boyfriend establishes himself as annoying. Or the ex boyfriend establishes Douchey himself annoying as annoying, bleach blonde, like <laughs> a real but pony really boy, bad not that bleach great. blonde. Yeah, like his roots show to a point where it looks like but they're in green the next and moldy. Scene, they're better. <laughs> well, you know, it's been a little. He touches bit. up his roots. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm... but also bleach blonde's hair is really hard to take care of. So while this is all going down. Um, right me. before he actually leaves to go kill the heckler, yeah, the movie starts. <laughs> the movie. This is insane. The movie. The movie that they are watching is, and they switch over to their point of view, so they're watching the the screen. It's the it's first the beginning movie. of the first movie. My head is just exploded. Scream too. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even as if it was like you know like. Quiet like night, Pinkett deadly Smith. night. <laughs> yeah. It's not like when it was stab, you know, in Scream. It's not like it was, qui- you know, oh, quiet night. <laughs> like like Jada Pinkett Smith yeah. going up on the screen and being like, ah, <laughs> right? dying on stage. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're straight up watching Silent yeah. Deadly yes. Night Part 1. This is, this, this, is, SNDL. this is the burglar Santa Claus from the first Part of the, the movie that killed the parent. The, yeah, right. And then you get that scene. <laughs> punish. Right. Yep. Punish. 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 Yeah. No. Not really. Punish and naughty. Yeah. <laughs> naughty. So, um, naughty. they're actually watching the movie. This is where it doesn't make any <laughs> sense. And then he see. She's like, "Oh, it's a movie about a killer Santa Claus." And he's like, yeah. "What?" Bullshit! That's insane! <laughs> Before this, yeah. I had only known of one other one, and then because of IMDb, like... Oh, yeah. There was that other... What is it? Christmas Evil? Christmas Evil. Evil. Yeah. yeah, that's one of them. Those are... Um, I know four now. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, Santa's Sleigh. There's... I mean, there's reindeer. a couple. Yeah. There's, what? I love Reindeer. Reindeer, reindeer, reindeer. Are pretty cool. Ginger Dead Rudolph Man. Is my favorite. It's Rain Fear. Rain Fear? Rain Fear. Rain Fear. <laughs> rain fear. <laughs> this is a really bad pun. <laughs> That's Rudolph. actually you're getting it wrong. That's just about really bad rain. Punish. Rain oh, fear. No. About Ooh. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's got it. Yeah. He's got it down. Punish. Right? Punish. Right? See? <laughs> Make sure he get his first job's a toy store and he's set. I have so much to answer for. <laughs> yeah. Toys are us. <laughs> and and then when it's, like, it's okay. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. So um then we flip over to um uh, now Ricky and Jennifer are walking down the street. And he's like, "I'd like to, you know, take you out to something romantic." And it's like, "This is the first time you're taking her out to anything <laughs> romantic, right?" And then w- they happen to be on the same street as the ex boyfriend, and he's working on his car. Yep. And he's like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> right. <laughs> and this is where uh, the ex boyfriend does what I think might be the first. That's what she said ever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, probably, and I also gotta say, like, for for like, for a dude who's unarmed and like has no idea, like, you know, about anything about her new boyfriend, like, he he's awfully confident. Like, yes, I'm pretty tall, but like, but- <laughs> I think I would have a rough time being like. Yeah, maybe I should like give this dude a ration of shit and just see what happens. <laughs> Even though he's twice my height, and I'm and already calling him King Kong. It's yeah. clearly <laughs> built like a brick shit house, but let me just make fun of him, and you know, I'll also, come out okay. As I yeah. wear my preppy Letterman sweater. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also just love that, like the girlfriend's like, "Let's walk down this street." Like, <laughs> like she has zero idea that Chip lives there. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going down. Mm. Like maybe no, he I'm moved. Sure I don't know. Yeah. It's been a week since <laughs> oh, we broke up. Oh, so last oh. time we talked, he was still living with his mom. But like, I'm sure he's moved out <laughs> since then. So like, and and this is where um like Ricky <clears throat> steps in and is like, you know, you stop it, right? And then like he it's, it's, what is what he is said, he trying to jump his make car it from? stop or something? Right, because he's like, make it end or make it stop, right? And he's like, that's, that's what, what she, she said, said in the back seat of that sweet red cherry Mustang. In the back right? of like, old red here. I was like, oh shit, this is like <laughs> Michael Scott's dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, why did he have jumper cables on his car? Uh, hoping that somebody else would come by and give him a jump? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get the sense that he actually knew what he was doing with his car. I don't car. think he actually even he needed just... a jump. He no, just he just, just like put it there just because he, he knew like, they were well, coming down the street? <laughs> well, it was like, I hope a car dies next to me. 
<laughs> Maybe there'll be a hot unit. Because it's connected to like the positive and negative of a battery. <laughs> well, I'd like to be able to give Ricky a satisfying pun to say after he kills me, <laughs> but yeah. he misses that opportunity too. <laughs> 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 so I was hoping he'd at least be like shocking. Yeah. <laughs> so he he grabs one of the the clams. I gave Jennifer a shocker. Take that chip. Oh ew. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs one of the clams that's on the other end of this battery and attaches it to a metal filling in the back of Ricky's mouth. Chip's mouth. Chip's mouth. It's very it's very eighties inventive by the yeah. way. Like you're just like yes. And for some reason, electricity makes your eyes explode. <laughs> it does? Yeah, so be careful. In this movie, yes, yeah. so watch out. <laughs> okay, I will. Right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Eyes are the most important part of seeing. Yes. Um, <laughs> they do a really good job with this dummy. There's, where a, great, like, yeah. where there's they're... a great jump cut where he like positions him <laughs> yeah. and then it's doink and then there's the dummy. Like... But but they were like we like we know that the dummy's eyes look horrible because we can't get eyes right. You know, <laughs> like just, CGI just put them on sunglasses. D- or dolls. Nothing matters. Like <laughs> eyes are horrible. Put the glasses on and it works. Yeah. Right. So it, so so Chip is like being shocked. He kind of looks like like he's like in a in a band, just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. And then just his eyes explode, and then Jennifer does the same thing that 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 girl that was assaulted in the first movie does to Billy, where it's like, what are you doing? You're insane. Like, I hate you. Don't ever talk to me again. It's like, maybe you should just kind of quietly, like, just walk, (laughs) step backwards into the bushes and be like, I got to go. Yeah. (laughs) Just um, be supportive of your murderous boyfriend. It's been fun. She didn't care when she, she didn't care when he killed the guy at the movie theater. No. She was egging him on at first. It just looked like the guy in the back Uh, was making out with someone on the floor, (laughs) but also the floor (laughs) of a movie theater is good for nothing. Meanwhile, what happened to the guy that was next to him with the mustache that seemed annoyed by his heckling. He probably found a better <laughs> date. Out. He, he like, killed him yeah, too. No, no yeah. I think the two in the back were on a date, and then the other guy with the mustache was like, "It's not working out. You're irritating." And left. <laughs> you can't even catch popcorn in your mouth. Yeah, it was Thank nice you. to meet you and all, but <laughs> look, you seem like a really but sweet bye. guy. But it's just, I, I need someone with a mustache just like mine. <laughs> Sorry, it's, goodbye. It's, uh, I didn't, I didn't know that this was actually Silent Night, Deadly Night One. So <laughs> I've, I've already, already seen, seen this. it. I just, <laughs> I find red uh, things triggering. Yeah. So yeah. I'm have to. <laughs> it's just like I like I know you're a good person, but like I just I don't I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know. Okay, bye. I kind of like that guy. Over walk there. away. I like King Kong over there. <laughs> King Kong's got a better like shoulder build. So <laughs> goodbye. <clears throat> Leg day. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> <Arcade>. started. <laughs> oh no! It's oh. arm day. <laughs> so he Arcane. chokes out. <laughs> He chokes out his girlfriend with the antenna of mm-hmm. the car because he rips it I off. I love how she says her line and then is like, oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> she says her line and then there's a literal gulp <laughs> and then runs away. She's like, uh-oh. Gulp. Right. Do, 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 do. He and then he chokes to, Yeah, he's the, Punish. Yep. Punish. Punish. Right? I'm like, how does he know that that's the word? That Billy used to use. Oh, yeah, that's right, because Billy gave him a full rundown <laughs> right before he bled out. Well, he also watched uh, the first movie. That's so right. <laughs> right he's there. Like, now, he's all fi- <laughs> now he's all caught up. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, because we didn't see them finish the movie, but we assumed they paid for it, so they watched it yeah. while a dead body was sitting there for an hour yeah, and a half behind him. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, the usher's going to have a hell of a time with that one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then he goes on his killing spree. Wait, so... hold on. That body was just left there. Yeah. Was nobody in that theater questioned? <laughs> Probably I don't know not. about you, but people that talk in movies basically Man, it's the third deserve one this week. whatever they yeah, get. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If I worked in a, I, I have worked in a movie theater, and if yeah. I had to clean out bodies of people that talked, I'd be like, well, all right, there we well, go. We have so. an incinerator for a reason. Fourth one this week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> Rend them down. Get so, some. Uh, this, um, then. Points to those people that killed them. Right? <laughs> so now he's killed Jennifer. Right. Yeah. Um. With no on. real motivation as to why, honestly. She, she just like, was gonna tattle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then a cop saw all this happen and is like, "Hold it right there, buddy!" And gets close enough to him to be like, "I'm gonna put these handcuffs on you now." And he does like a 
kung fu like flip around with the with the gun, uh, right? Basically, like what movie is that? Where like oh, it's like Rush Hour when like yeah, Jackie yeah. Chan <laughs> takes the gun and just flips Rocket it around him or something. Dragon. <laughs> How you do that? <laughs> you never touch you never touch black man's gun because <laughs> like, man, that's what happens basically he just like with a flick of a wrist turns the gun and shoots it at the same time yeah right and puts a bullet right dead center in the guy's forehead cops down on the ground picks up the gun and then slowly just like the terminator again like kind of stalks around the neighborhood uh, one guy's like, "Howdy ho, neighbor!" And he's like, yeah. <laughs> right? walking out of his house like a casual like Saturday, and he's like, mm, "I love this Saturday." It's Honey, so did you get the paper yet? Oh God! Right? <laughs> right? I think we're gonna mow the no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then another guy's like, taking out the trash, and then this is the line. The line. Right? Garbage day. Garbage day. <laughs> right? Almost as if. Oh like, no! 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 <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> it's four o'clock already. It's, okay. So, um, almost as if the guy, like, the way the guy says it, it's like, this has happened to him before. Oh, no, no, not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Every goddamn Wednesday. <laughs> And this is really the part of the uh, movie where Ricky loses me, you know? It's like you yeah. could almost make a case the ex boyfriend, like, deserved it because he was being yeah. a dick. You know, he's disrespectful. And then, so Ricky, like, he's pressing on. <laughs> this with is his Ricky's gun. like heel turn. Yeah. You know, really, like, you know, his his, his suburban like killing spree. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> this is why I think the writer literally was just like, I fucking hate my neighbors. I hate that guy. Every always bringing the trash out every like, fucking six Wednesday, in the fucking morning <laughs> when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, it must be garbage day. <laughs> I'm gonna write that in the script. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, hey, George. Hey. Hey, hey, did you see my new movie? It's, it's Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. No, you got to check it out. It's it's awesome. Don't, yeah, there's this weird part about, like, garbage or something. You're going to love it, though. Don't think twice. Can I, yeah. get, can I do the gunshot? <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ready, it. ready, ready? Garbage day! <laughs> That's awesome. All right, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the listeners are like, thank you for that one. <laughs> so then uh, so then we like zip back into real time after he's done his No, no, you, you missed one. There's, Wait, which there's, is, there's the still one? This is the stunt. Oh, the car. Okay, yeah. yeah. So um, there's an actual stunt in this movie that happened that somebody almost gets run over and, and like... <laughs> Like, whoever the stuntman was for Ricky, basically Ricky fires one shot into the windshield, another shot into the uh, radiator, and then that, uh, and then one more into the windshield, right? And that car causes the car to veer onto a construction <laughs> mound of dirt, right? As always. Flip over. And then <laughs> land back on its tire. So it does a full 360, basically. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> and and the thing about this is that um, the shot is a wide shot. And as it's about to hit this hill, it's still, like, veering towards wh the whoever the stuntman is that's Ricky. Right? And Ricky kind of just steps out of the way at the last second like I really feel like it, that was that was tempting fate there that stunt man like that was a good stunt. I feel stunt. like it clipped his shoulder. Right, it was like a full like you know seven eight hundred dollars out of the yeah. ten thousand yeah. dollar budget. Oh yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh man, this is how I make my fire sound. Yeah, that's fire. Okay, it's good. Yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that one. We're still getting so, our foley thing worked out. Right. right now. Yeah. <laughs> there we Ladies go. and gentlemen, that it was not a fire that happened in here. <laughs> that was we're Paxton. We're we are Don't completely worry. safe. <laughs> we're all so, safe. Wow, it was amazing. We have our final kill, and then we come back to. I Ricky. love how the cops, though. <clears throat> yeah. Are are like oh, don't do it. You have everything to live oh. for. It's Put like, dude, he just killed like ten people. They're <laughs> all ready to shoot to him for. until yeah. he puts the gun to his own head, and then they're like, "No, wait, buddy. <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, pal." <laughs> it's like, you're fine. It's okay. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, you have gorgeous eyebrows. <laughs> you can yeah. find another girl. Don't worry yeah. about it. They, They'll they, love you. The best is yeah. they, they, they cut back to the they cut back to the the, the interview room in the the mental hospital. You know, and he's he's got his fingers <laughs> up and he's like, eyebrow goes up. 
no more bullets. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh, he tries to kill himself as the cops are, like, telling him, like, don't do it. You're fine. And then it turns out, yeah, no see, more bullets. And this is how not being good at math can hold you back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> yeah. it, all, it all adds up. Because I counted it just in case. <laughs> just in case they got ro- got it wrong. They, they were good. They were they, wrong. They, the six, 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 six gunshots? Yep. 12, yep. All right. 12 yep. times 12 is 144. I <clears throat> watch right now. Probably I was going to be like, thanks for that. But now yeah. t- tomorrow I'll be like, oh, my God, what was that flashback about 12 times 12? 144. 144. Right. Something's going to happen tomorrow yeah. where you have to use that knowledge. And you're going to be like, oh, so my like, God. I need 12 eggs, but I need 12, <laughs> 12 eggs. I need a gross <laughs> of something. How many are in a gross? It's going to be Easter. I'm like, oh. 144. <laughs> okay. So he, so he flashes back to present well, day <laughs> yeah he flashes Such forward as it is. Yeah. to present day he comes back <laughs> right and then and this is where the movie is no more flashbacks happens. finally this yeah the no movie. more flashbacks <laughs> <laughs> ran out of flashbacks <laughs> <laughs> and he um he has at this point managed to strangle the psychiatrist while he's still telling us yeah. a story. <laughs> <laughs> but I the thought the audience like, needs to know, but you don't. He's I just reminiscing thought, by that point, I think. Right. I would have loved to have heard the story because he plays the reel to reel back after he strangles the doctor with it here, right? So that you hear him be like, ha, 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 right? I would have loved, <laughs> I would have loved for over the screams for him to be like telling the story again. <laughs> so he was like, and then I took a car and said, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so I honestly didn't think that like that tape was red B on the handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. I didn't think recording tape was that strong. No, not at okay, all. Not even cool. Never mind. I was like, yeah, it's, okay, it's fine. Never mind. It's about as as strong as shrink wrap. Like, <laughs> well, after he suffocates it or he chokes him and he leaves the room, mm-hmm. then you hear like the orderlies being like, he goes, "Oh my God, he's loose! <laughs> right. How then, did he get loose? Yeah, and then he murders people in the hallway. No, he doesn't. It sounds like it. You think so? Yeah, it sounds like it. Oh. He's like, oh, ow, oh, no. <laughs> so there's Yikes. more, like, so there's more like off-screen deaths. Happens. I didn't yeah. even count. <laughs> wow. I didn't even, I didn't hear that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, and then it's the entire hunt for the. Is it really a hunt? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically. I, they go right to address 666. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the devil's number. That exactly. is the devil's number. But it's also Mother Superior's number. It's where six, the six, number six, six. Her yeah. address. Because yeah. she retired after having a stroke slash being set seen on in fire. two face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't know that strokes caused you to have, like, acid face. <laughs> <laughs> But because that, that's what they, they don't say that she was on fire or anything. No, it's, and you would think it's like an, it's something that was like, oh, did we not see that part of like part one? Is that the one scene they cut out? Nope. No, nope. It's just, nothing. Mother Superior had like you know the worst case of Bell's palsy ever, and she half of like, her face fell off. She you looks know, like, like Mr. Boogity. Yeah, <laughs> if you know who Mr. <laughs> Boogity is. Um, and so it's 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 like establishing her. She lives at address six six six. For some reason, like they thought that that's clever, I guess. And it's like in yeah. a movie where you could have been dropping puns all over the place. This is where you went. You're like, Ha-ha-ha, that's funny because it's like it's like ironic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally oh. not the same Mother Superior, by the way. Oh no, I mean def- oh, no. clearly yeah. not. Six. When you're a Mother Superior, <laughs> but you live at six six six. Uh, okay, and then it's just—it's kind of like a sad, like not even a chase through house. So Mother Superior is in a wheelchair, and she's on the second story because she has, she has an apartment, is what it looks like, that has <laughs> multiple staircases what? and like multiple rooms. So what, it, what is that bathroom called? That you can like, uh, we said it in in our actual drinking episode. A day? No, the bathroom where it has <laughs> multiple like, ways to get out of it. Oh, it's I like don't know. some sort of like I have Abby said about? it. I think I like have a <clears throat> yeah. Question. Yes, yes. Uh, how was the woman in the wheelchair? How did she get into a wheelchair? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. She's in a wheelchair. 
um, in the first movie Diabetes. too. By the end of the movie, Do you think end she of the broke movie. her legs or something. Mm, no, they say she had a stroke, so maybe she can't use her legs anymore. I think she yeah. had some kind of illness of the plot. Was what happened to the, <laughs> to the mother superior? That's why she She's got the, the palsy. <laughs> I've been stricken with the poles. She's got a bad plot. <laughs> we need her to be... She's got a bl- bad plotter. A bad plotter. <laughs> we need her to be easy to kill, so... <laughs> Put her in a wheelchair. Put her in a wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. He's got it. You know. <laughs> yeah. If your plotter goes out, then you just... Your walking is gone. And We're going to try wheelchair, so to pretty bad. drum up a little sympathy for <laughs> yeah. Mother Superior, so... I've been stricken with the plot holes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, plot holes. Why is everyone taking off their headphones? Uh, because it gets hot. My thanks for hurt. thanks for breaking the magic. Jeez, oh, <laughs> there it Calling is. Out, right? yeah. Mommy right. said that you're an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight drinks in one day. It's fine. <laughs> my, my ears aren't hot yet. Okay. Mine are, okay, mine are pushed back a lot. I have big ears. Don't yeah. call me out like this. Yeah, because <laughs> you know, like with, when you wear glasses and headphones. Mommy like, said like you're like extra. baby new it hurt? Yeah, it's totally the worst. There's extra you like, how, like you see how my ears kind of dumbo out. <laughs> They're, yeah. It pushes. Yeah, it, it's basically like pushing my ears back like this. It's not fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys get you know get him to call you out too yeah. though. Yeah. He's, <laughs> a, he's just spreading the love all day today. It's fair. You know. See, yeah, totally. Oh, is this a, this is a daily a lot more situation? This is totally. Yeah, this is totally <laughs> how things are. You can. So what you can do is you can pull one back. Yeah. So you just cover I didn't one see you ear. brush your teeth today, yeah. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make you feel like you're like a cool like radio yeah. person? Because that's it always makes me feel really cool when I just pull one ear off. Then you're like a DJ. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, so um, as we come to the end of this, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, Ricky has since from the mental institution gone and killed a uh, like Salvation Army Santa. Um, to get the Santa suit. To get the Santa suit. Because <laughs> to get the Santa suit upgrade. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I've I've my powers have increased. And uh he he I don't know because like he's not in this movie really obsessed with Santa like Billy is. Like it's only like for the fact to be like, oh well our killer has to be in a Santa suit. And it's like yeah. does he? Because I've seen him kill like ten people without a Santa suit. Yeah, like it's kind of unnecessary. He wasn't even wearing like an ugly sweater. Like it was just <laughs> it was just a blue sweater. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, there's nothing Christmas really about this movie other than the flashbacks and then just being like, hey, we're gonna be desperate and put you in a Santa suit, but you're not even gonna wear the beard. Like at least Billy like was lazily wearing the beard. Yeah, it was just kind of <laughs> hanging there. Right. He yeah. looked more like a Chippendale stripper. <laughs> <laughs> who has been hired to like dance at Mother Superior for Christmas Eve as Santa? <laughs> Time to unwrap your gift. I pay, <laughs> and then you can punish. <laughs> I have, you, have you been naughty? That's right. Boots and cats and boots and cats and. <laughs> So, yeah, he calls her up and basically he's like, Santa's coming to town or something, right? Or, like, oh, actually, no. actually, that was better than whatever he says. Yeah, he's, <laughs> like, you, this is, a, and we said this with the first one too, this is a movie that could have, like, if you know that they're not really taking it seriously, right? Oh, no. So why not just g- go strong with the puns and the jokes and, like, why not be Freddy about it, basically? Yeah. You know? The like, whole, the whole movie should have been garbage. Why is there apple yes. juice in here? Like, what? Why is there apple juice in it here? Is, it is cider because this is a Christmas episode. It's so Christmas we're drinking episode. hard I cider. Care. Yeah, yeah, because we've already filled our cups, sir. <laughs> Um, if you want some, we'll give us some to you afterwards, non-alcoholic, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Quit putting us on blast, kid. I know. Right? Blast. <laughs> like, Why is your dick in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're going right, to have to okay. cut that part out. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He didn't even so, say it's a wave. He's not going to remember. <laughs> he goes to the nun's house, and they do, like, the right. slowest <laughs> chase And that now he's ever killing had. me with yeah. the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I was expecting him to kind of like Mrs. Deagle or at the up the chairlift, Ooh. but that would not have been cool. Yes, yeah. Yeah. chimney. Yes, no, anything didn't even really. Go that far. And she yeah, just stuffing somebody down the, down the stairs, chimney would have been yeah. cool. Yeah, climbing it's, up the chimney. It's very anticlimactic, and basically like the nun runs away a little bit, slash gets thrown down the stairs. And she Santa goes to the kitchen and finds a knife with her alternative mm-hmm. wheelchair as well on the first floor. 
And then, and like, then, like, it like, all she's... comes to a climax in, like, the the dining room where she's like, but, I'm going to get you. But then, like... Yeah, this is a weird part. Is a, that, a, like... a detective comes in and shoots him, and he flies through a window. Yeah, but no, she, <laughs> no, she dies. Oh, she does get her yeah, head caught but off. But here's the thing is, like, here's a weird thing. Just like Jennifer, why do people double down in front of this murderer? <laughs> like, yeah. she, she goes... I am your mother superior, and I order you to not kill or something. And he's like, "All right, well, uh, like, no. that's not the um, right." Yeah, and she's like, "Yeah." She goes by. because this is the like the line, the only time he tries to even make remotely a pun. Right? Yeah. She's like, "And I, you, I'm your mother superior, and I order you not to kill. You are being naughty." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, that probably wasn't the speech <laughs> to, uh. to finish it." And he goes. Naughty this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> that's not um, that's that's not it. That's, that's barely that's barely a rejoinder. <laughs> naughty but this, okay. naughty that. <laughs> uh, right? Yeah. Like drops her head off, and then they come. Like the police come in, and they're like, "Mother Superior, where are you?" And they find her at the dinner table. <laughs> And they're like, oh, thank God you're okay. Why aren't you talking to us? And then the good nun from the first movie comes up and is like, Mother Superior? And, like, taps her on the shoulder. Her head falls Mm -hmm. off, which is a pretty brutal tap. Yeah. (laughs) Like, like, be a little gentler, please. And then... um, How did get this Play-Doh out? He had time Very to stage carefully. it before the cops busted in and shot him. Yeah. Like, I didn't even... So then, that yeah, work? her head falls off. He pops out of nowhere. Um, The cops shoot him and then uh the young nun is freaking out a little bit she passes out but she wakes back up and she sees her and screams but as she's screaming because like mother superior is dead the scream wakes up santa who was shot santa. twice and he's like actual santa he's, he's like, like what's up hello i'm alive yeah and we kind of in there yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. it's one of those, like, in a horror movie where the killer comes back for one last scare. But in this one, he just comes back, and then the movie's over. Yeah. The end. And we're done. Yeah. Or is it? Right? Or, good- or is there yeah. three more of these? Yeah. <laughs> well, now... So you've seen... Yeah. How many of the other ones? I think I've, I've definitely seen up to number four, because number three has Ricky again. Does it? Oh. Yes. Oh, I thought the Where, rest weren't com- went, Oh, weren't no, no, related. no. Number three has Ricky again, and he's Christmas wearing- Christmas in July. Essentially, like- <laughs> Nice. Essentially, like, a porthole on his head that, that yeah, shows seen, his brain. I've seen shots. He looks like yeah. Louis Tully from, like, the end of Ghostbusters. Yeah, he's wearing, like- <laughs> He's literally wearing like this weird, like you know, clear hat with like a brain underneath it. Because I guess you know, getting shot in the tra- <laughs> getting shot in the torso, like you know, requires that in order to be resurrected, you have to have like a like an acrylic bubble. Yeah, he's kind of like brain. a robotic Frankenstein or something. Is yeah. from the screenshots I've seen because yeah. it's on the back of the the box, the VHS back yeah. in the day. It's it's insane. It's <laughs> you know, it's not as good as number. I mean, none of them are as good as number two. Number <laughs> four, on the other hand, does not have anything to do with the previous three films. Okay, and Wait, I think. There's yeah. yeah, there's there's five altogether. Okay. So number four, I, I if I'm remembering this right, doesn't have anything to do with the first three. However, it does have to do with a. I think it's a cult. I read. There's yeah. It's an initiation. It's called initiation colon <laughs> Silent Night Deadly Night Four. Four One of them has a a plot where there's like a guy who's like like a. Like, I know five is like toy maker. Okay, okay, with so Mickey I, Rooney. I, okay, so I've seen number five, <laughs> but I haven't Rooney. seen number four then. Because right. number five is the one with Joe Petto. <laughs> Joe Petto. Yeah, that's that's, Wait. that's Mickey Rooney's name in the in the. His name is Joe Petto. Joe Files. Petto. Like has, who, like what? like pedophile. No, 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 Petto. <laughs> yeah. I I get the I get the Geppetto what? joke. <laughs> I get Peter, the Peter File. I get the Geppetto <laughs> joke. I'm, I'm, yeah. You know what, Paxton? I'm calling you out. You just made it. Yeah, <laughs> great model. You just made an awesome Play-Doh. Okay. I feel like he's doing it on purpose. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's trolling you. I, think I know, right? I think he's trolling all of us. He's, he's known this whole time. He's like, "Hey, yeah, Jared, what do you think?" So we got W. <laughs> <laughs> Punish. Um, Punish. I wish. Okay. Okay. So. Um, 
We we also do a thing that's known as W's. Okay? okay, it's basically the who, what, where, when, and why that this film would be for. Oh right? God! You don't have to come up with all five W's, just the ones that seem to fit. Like, it's just like why would you with this movie? Why would you, and you watch already this? have a reason? Why yeah. would you watch yeah. this? Like, yeah. Who would you recommend this to? That kind of stuff, or yeah. like you know. So for example, right? I would say. Uh, I think this is a perfect example of like if I was throwing a Christmas party, right? Yeah. It would be on in the background. Like if it's an adult Christmas party, not a, with one with kids, but like yeah. yeah, it would it would go on. I would probably add Christmas Evil to the list. Basically just like so people if they were to turn their head and look, they're like, "Oh, there's Santa." What is yeah. this insane business? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Right? Same. Definitely. Same. It I think it's a great I think you would have to show the first one first and then kind of bleed it into the second one. But even then, I think it's just, it's a nice. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like it already blends itself. (laughs) But I think it's just, it's, but if you show the first one first, then that's eating up more time that you need video. Yeah, but but then people are going to be like, oh my God, is is this party like a casino? Like, I've been here forever. (laughs) No, it's, I don't, I think it's just something, it's, it's great background. Jared, your DVD is on a loop again. Why are they watching the same movie they just saw and we're also in? I don't yeah. understand. No, I think it's a good loop. It's a good. It's a good. Just whatever Christmas thing. I'm making a plate. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, and then for you, what do you got? Any? I mean, you well, already you have literally yours. have a thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, it's definitely. Uh... Yeah. No, my family's weird. So. Um... <laughs> No, you know, fine. it just sort of, you know, it was a natural thing that, you know, like this sort of like kind of cheesy, yeah, bizarre thing would have made its way into our like annual festivities. I guess it's a, good though. The I question, like it. We yeah. all have our own thing. It's it's I, I love I love its audacity. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> like at first it's like, well, wait, this is just the movie we watched, and it's like, well, but of course it is because why <laughs> why the hell not? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, I'm right? done with my boy. why why wouldn't we actually make them watch the first movie within our movie? Yeah, <laughs> it's like we have 45 minutes of actual movie. What are we gonna do? Put the first one in. What yeah. are you talking about? And what are we gonna the do? Whole you know. Movie. <laughs> so, um. I, the question does, though, like, if somebody went, would you recommend this movie? I would go literally skip to 50 minutes in. Yeah. Like, don't even – just know that, like, starting this movie, this is the brother of the killer from the first movie, and he is in a mental institution telling that story. You know, yeah. just know that as preface, and then start with whatever his story is, like, halfway through. Like – this is the kind of thing where I'd be like, what you need to do is actually do like a full edit of one and two together, right? And and make them that that basically this is Ricky telling the story of his brother from like the start of part one. Like edit in parts twos to part one, but show part one in all of its entirety between the flashbacks. Okay. So literally edit them into one Probably it would probably be like probably a two hour movie at that point when you do that. Okay, you know, like it would be the story of the. I I was gonna say the Rosenberg brothers, but they're not both. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what their last name is. So make up their last. That's name. how I would recommend it. Where I'm like, mm. okay, uh, it's the same thing as like I always believe that Halloween one and two should be shown back to back, like and probably intercut without like the credits of part one because I actually love Halloween two. I think it's a really good follow-up, even though it's not Carpenter directed. It yeah. feels good, right? And if it's all the same night. Carpenter didn't direct Halloween too. Nope. Shit. I know, right? Who knew? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I should probably pay more attention to things like that. I know, right? Yeah. Because you, you, I used to think he directed the first three altogether, you know, but no, he didn't. Huh. Um, uh, but they, it, it feels like that, and it feels like a really comprehensive, like it happened all in the same night. You know, it's the same thing. Yeah. This is where I'd be like, the way to do this is to do like. The fan edit, you know, yeah. and do like both all footage together as Ricky's story, you know. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then you wouldn't mm-hmm. actually complain that you watch the same footage twice. And you don't <laughs> have to worry quite as much about like you know, like, well, how does how does Ricky know all this? It's like, well, because he also goes to see the movie. Yeah, <laughs> <You know? laughs> he saw it. You know, He's good. Takes that takes that conundrum the right fan, out of the... the fan edit. Actually, has a sixth actor playing Ricky just to explain <laughs> things that there's plot holes for. It's just me being like, and then yeah, 
<laughs> You'll never guess what happened next. And then it was super hard for me to get that dishwashing job, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I got it. <laughs> so yeah, that that would be about it. Now um, we did promise our listeners that we were going to do one thing before we left. Paxton. Yeah. So yes. okay, do you uh, do you have that list? Do you have that list of, of what's your what's the the bad movie that you can think of? Yeah. You sa- yeah. What yeah. is it? Um, uh, Clone Wars. Like the, the the movie, all right. Or Attack of the Clones. Are you talking about the cartoon? Yeah. Yeah, the, the cartoon, cartoon movie. Clone Wars? The cartoon Clone Wars movie is the worst reviewed, like, uh, fan reviewed uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. He's got he's got a point. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually actually okay. Really good. I'm yeah. with that. And my cow also got um, the movie he does not like is Charlotte's Web. Who? My cow. Oh, your cow? okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, your your cow's on point. There's no accounting for taste. A yeah. cow. Ting <laughs> for taste. Cow. Ting for taste. Sorry. Cow. Right? He loves math. <laughs> Throw that out there. Um, if he's talking about the live action one, totally agree. If he's talking yeah. about the cartoon from back oh, in the, the 80s, was that's so amazing. Good. Yeah. I cry. Yeah. I cry over a spider. Yeah. I cry a lot. Then things. in real life, I'd be like, yeah. kill it. Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, <laughs> it's death. Get it rid of it. Right? So um, <clears throat> that just about does it for us. Uh, I'd like to thank our guest today, Andrew. Friend. I'm thanking you, Paxton. <laughs> I'm thanking you for being on the show. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having us. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, was, this was fun. No, this was a blast. My new friend wants to say something. Uh, Your plate. <laughs> well, you can you can yes. you can tell us in a bit, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, everybody, this was the final, uh, basically, episode in a three-part series where we did Silent Nights Part One and Two as official episodes, but we also did a drinking party, which is a comedy commentary of Part Two. Um, sorry. We did not invite you to that one. <laughs> You're like, it's the first time I'm hearing of it. Part three, Christmas in July. Yes. Yeah, come back. We'll do Christmas in July. Definitely. And we can that do part three. Good. Can I come back yes. too? Yes, not for that one. <laughs> I, I was oh, like, oh, part eh. three's different. <laughs> no. That one's well, no, not. but if we're doing the. Are, are, you, yeah, are we doing yeah, the yeah, drinking yeah, commentary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Like, basically, we'll we, because um, yeah. that's what think I was it, about to say over. is we had a partnership with uh, drinkingcinema.com. Yeah. So they wrote us actual um, rules to play a drinking game for part two. Oh. So we did that on air. And uh, those who are listening to this episode, you can go to YouTube right now and you can search for uh, Silent Night Drinking Night. And um, it you basically put in bombs away dash silent night drinking night part two, and uh, there's no part one, but <laughs> um, that's how we titled it. But also, if you type in like silent night deadly night with that, it'll come up. It'll be the first thing that comes up, uh, and that is available today. Uh, if this you're listening to this the day it came out, it all today? three today, today, right? Today. So even you can go on YouTube right now, Paxton, and watch it. Don't tell. <laughs> and <laughs> um, D- don't watch it, buddy. I right. won't. Okay. <laughs> I won't tell my dad. That's right. Putting your hand up that doesn't like matter when you're talking into a microphone. <laughs> Microphones amplify things. <laughs> we all know. <laughs> so um, we're all wearing headphones. All those episodes are out now. Um, we have our final episode of the year, which is coming out next week, and that is 1980s New Year's Evil. What a ridiculous slasher movie that that uh, turned out to be. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's it's just all over the place. It's ridiculous. So um, with that being said, I'd like to also uh, just make sure that people know where to find us. Uh, you can search for us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Bombs Away Show. Uh, you can write to us personally if you, if you had something to say about this episode or a previous episode. Contact at bombsawayshow.com. And if you are not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button on iTunes and Google Play or basically wherever you're listening to this. Make sure you tune in. Uh, welcome new listeners on iHeartRadio and Spotify. Uh, make sure that you just kind of jump right over to Apple or Google Play and hit that subscribe button and rate and review because that means one hell of a lot to us. And we shout, we shout out, we read your reviews during our mini episodes. So, uh, you know, for those of you who are a little bit attention whores, you know, <laughs> we got you. We shout you out by name. Um, 
So that just about does it for me and the can, show can and I everybody else. Yeah, so you can say you can sign off. How about that? You want to sign off? Sign us off. So basically, I'm going to say I'm Jonathan. I'm Jarrett. I'm Andrew. And I'm Paxton. And and punish. <laughs> yeah. Punish. <laughs> This is Jarrett with Bombs Away Podcast. I'm here at the Frida Cinema, once again recording for your all's pleasure. Frida Cinema, that sounds pretty familiar. Oh yeah, it's because we bring it up so much. It's where we live, it's where we record. Now, you may know of the Frida Cinema, but you may not know enough about the Frida Cinema. So the Frida Cinema is a program of the Long Beach Cinematique, and it's located in Santa Ana in Southern California. It services neighboring communities as a nonprofit art house cinema dedicated to educating, connecting, and enriching communities through the art of cinema, which is a pretty amazing experience. But how do they do that? Well, one of the ways they do that is with shadow casting. So shadow casting, if you don't know, is whenever they have a cast below the screen acting out the movie as the film is projected behind them, which is pretty neat, but that's not all. They also get audience participation, so you feel like you're part of the film, that you have that amazing enriching experience. Some of the films that we do shadow cast with are Little Shop of Horrors, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Repo the Genetic Opera, and The Forbidden Zone. That was the last time you heard of The Forbidden Zone, am I right, ladies? Other things that we do, if you're not into Shadowcast, but you love that audience participation, um, are special events. We've done Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and it was a lights and sound spectacular. And there were also words along the bottom of the screen that helped you know when to participate in the film. And maybe you just want to watch a film, which is okay, because the Free to Cinema does show films. But maybe you want to watch a film in a different atmosphere. Well, the Frida Cinema has rooftop showings. Some of the films that have shown on our rooftop are the most recent Beauty and the Beast or Ghostbusters and Jurassic Park. One of the cool things that happened with Ghostbusters and Jurassic Park is we actually had guests. For instance, Jurassic Park had the guest of the Jeep Wrangler, you know, that nice tan and red Jeep that we see just driving all around that park. It's an amazing photo opportunity, and it's something you get to brag about to your friends and post on that Instagram. If you want more information about the Showtime's location and everything film and entertainment related to the Frida Cinema, just go to www.thefridacinema.org. You can also follow on Facebook at facebook.com slash thefridacinema, and on Instagram and Twitter at thefridacinema. The Frida Cinema, for the filmmakers, the film goers, and... For you. This has been a production of Big Bulb Entertainment, executive produced by Jonathan Young. For more media and information, visit us at www.bigbulbentertainment.com. Big Bulb, what's your bright idea? Shh.